If I do this, do you have a two-way go? You go, boom, and I'm right through your face. You get what I'm saying? I'm bang. Now he got to make a decision. What is the DB's main job on the field? You know, our main job is you know to get people lined up, get the right support calls, uh, align with leverage, you know, tackle, uh, and just be football players. I don't know if we have a main job. I know we have our job and the way we do things, and um, you know, we work with people like him. Have you two ever coached together before? No, we haven't. This is our first time, and it's been been a great experience. All right. So, what's it mean as a coach to not only develop your guys on the field, but to develop them off the field as men? Um, I think that's everything. Um, I, I think you shortchange players um, if you don't develop them as men. That's why we got in this business. Um, for me, I always wanted a little brother. Um, and that's why I want to do it. So, you know, creating men of character um, is, is everything to us. We talk about it every day. Some days we spend more time on that than we do school. Um, because if you don't have the right character guys, when things get hard, they're not ready and happy to, to handle the adversity that, that strikes. Among the same lines, you know, we talk about uh, better people make better zips and how character, character matters. And even in recruiting, um, you know, and it just carries over to our style of coaching where the coach said it's, you know, it's not all scheme all the time, you know, it's life skills, just being on time, being a good person, how you treat people, Once the tangibles that are going to carry you over in life that help you as a person. And, um, you know, to us, you know, it's people over the player. Hey, I saw the way you hit that boy, B. Lee, man. Great talk about Devontae hey, Jones. This is the best safety in the nation right here. Best safety in the nation. All right, Coach O, who's got the best shoe game on the staff? Whew. It's got to be Coach Cool. <laughs> you know, uh, I got my, I'm a little older. Yeah, like, like, the all your coach pro just to bat. Guy's got about 30 <laughs> pair of Yeezys. Um, he's probably hands down the best dresser. Uh, I'm the best looking by far. But, I mean, when it comes to, you know, style, the way he carries himself, um, I mean, here's is incredible. Yeah. I got it. He, he made me raise the bar because he'll come in days and, and, and pull it out, you know. So um, he's taught me a few things, but um, we're definitely ankles out guys in the summer. What's your favorite shoe? My favorite shoe of all time or right now? Don't go all time. Or go both. Go both. Uh, okay, right now I have these pair of uh, Adidas Yeezy uh, 700 V2s that I love. I wear them like every other day. I love those. And then probably all time. Um, it's out of brand, so I'm not going to mention it. <laughs> All right, so we'll finish with this. What's your expectations for the season? For the game. I, mean, I, I, don't, I don't think any competitor shows up to work at the time we do or leaves at the time we do with not having an expectation of what I'm actually considering. Like, um, you know, obviously you got to be realistic in your goals, um, but I feel like with the people that we have here, you know, I don't show up to become bowl eligible. We go, we show up to show up and play in Detroit, um, win a championship, and then play at the highest bowl game we can. So the expectations are high all the time. You know, and and, and to echo that same sentiment, we want to go one and zero each week. You know, we we feel like the way we prepare and the way we practice gives us the opportunity to defeat anybody we play, um, and that's our competitive advantage. The way we practice, um, so we don't, we don't feel like when we get to Saturdays, it's anything but about ourselves and not the opponent. Perfect.